and welcome back. And today I have for you the Tarot Grand Lux by Ciro Marchetti. And I purchased this this week because I had heard that this was going to be quite difficult to get hold of. And I heard some people had difficulty getting hold of it. But when I went online, there it was. And so I ordered it straight away into my basket and the next day it was in my hands. I'm so happy to have this. Now I have the original Gilded Tarot by Sarah Marchetti, which was the first deck that I ever purchased. And I think it's been my favourite deck really ever since then. And I've only recently just started increasing my tarot collection. And I do tend to look back on that one as my go-to tarot deck. Although I am starting now to get a few new favourites, which is only a good thing. Uh, but today we have the Grand, the Tarot Grand Lux. And this has been available for a while now on uh, an independent release from Ciro. And this is now the mass-produced market version which has just come out in the past month or so, I believe, uh, July, August. And so here it is. So let's have a look. So it has a good sturdy box. There's the sides. The artwork is absolutely gorgeous. Inside the box, nice vivid blue have the guidebook a small book the back it's just a small pocket book not a massive book and it kind of feels manufactured i don't like this too much but it does its job it's about 56 pages i believe 56 pages indeed have an introduction several pages and then it goes into the major arcana you have a small picture of each card and then the card description from zero and it goes through the majors and it goes to the minors through to the end and that's the guidebook and then the cards Let's have a look at the cards. Oh, uh, back of the box. Inside again, that gorgeous blue. The back of the cards. Fantastic. I am a bit disappointed that it's not gilded in gold, which would be nice. But I think that's fairly standard for the decks that I've seen. Uh, of these although I do believe that a few have been gilded but hey ho the card stock is absolutely gorgeous easy to spread the cards uh, the thickness is reasonably good the size now I heard that these cards were really big and a lot larger than standard tarot so I don't know if these have been reduced in size to me they look like they are standard tarot size, maybe a touch larger in my hand. I feel I can, with my small hands, I can probably just about riffle shuffle these. Um, so I'm happy with that. So let's look at the cards. So we have the Fool. The Magician, the High Priestess, and just look at those gorgeous vivid colours. The border, although it's not uh, in silver or gold, it does look silver or gold. Uh, just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And look at this Empress card there, absolutely gorgeous lush colors of the the greenery and the imagery on that all the animals 
just such an absolutely lush card gorgeous we have the emperor we have the hierophant we have the lovers the chariot strength card my favorite of the cards the strength card always a good card lush colors beautiful imagery just fantastic the hermit not looking too happy this one again gorgeous colors perfect imagery on the card we have the wheel Oh, drop that one. Justice, again, gorgeous reds, blues, gold, fabulous. The Hanging Man, he looks like he's having a bit more of an enjoyable time of things. And then we come to Death. Temperance, the devil, quite an eerie card for the devil, the tower, fairly standard right away, tower card, again beautiful artwork, beautiful colours, fantastic. We have the star, gorgeous bright blue colours. We have the moon. The sun. We have judgment. And the world. Fantastic, vibrant gold and yellow colours. Fantastic. Then we move on to the Minor Arcana. We have the One of Swords. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. Just feel the emotion coming from that card alone. So good. And four of swords, five of swords, six, seven, eight. And the nine. Just feeling anguish there. Giving up. And the ten. Things can't get any worse. Stabbed in the back. The figure's normally lying down and just got ten swords just on top of them. This is a little bit of a gentler card. Uh, not being too heavy, um, but the effect is equally, equally similar. Page of Swords. Knight of Swords, those gorgeous golds coming out on this, and the Queen, and the King. Moving on to Cups, we have the One of Cups, 
gorgeous aquatic sea blue colours coming out there. I think this is my new favourite Ace of Cups card. Two of Cups. Moving back to the Golds. Three of Cups. Gorgeous celebration. Four of Cups. And Five of Cups. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Perfect harmony, fulfilment. Look at that gorgeous cat there. It's having a fantastic time in front of the fire. Everyone's happy. Gorgeous. Page of Cups comes back to the watery blues again. Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. King of Cups. Is that zero? I think it must be. <laughs> and one of ones. Two of ones. One of the more subtle cards. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. Quite a dark card there. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten, and then the page, the Knight, bringing in those red colours, the Queen, and the king. And lastly, the pentacles. One of pentacles. Gorgeous gold coin. Two of pentacles. Three. Hard at work. Four. Five of coins, pentacles. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And then the page, coming back to the earthy green colours again for the coins. The knight. The queen. I think that's another one of my favourites. Very good. And lastly... The King of Coins. There we go. And so those are the Tarot Grand Deluxe cards. So I'll just shuffle the deck.
if I can, without them going everywhere. And we'll pick a card and we'll see what we get. Got a few here. Just grab a random card. And we've got the One of Swords. And we'll check what it says in the book. So, Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords leads us into the suit of the intellect and mental forces. The Ace of Swords brings clarity and truth. Swords are associated with the element air. So here and throughout the court cards, we are visited by magnificent birds of the air. So not hugely helpful um, in describing the One of Swords. Um, just the description of it bringing clarity and truth. And uh, with the Swords relating to uh, your mental state of health, thinking and all that area in general. And so there we are, so the cards. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, vibrant deck. Nice artwork. Don't think I dislike particularly any of the cards. Uh, it's starting to grow on me. Um, I do like the Gilded Tarot. Uh, the newer decks that he's brought out, which I don't own at the moment, they have improved on the earlier works. Uh, I think Tower of Dreams may be slightly nicer than this. Not sure, but from what I've seen, I think I may just like that a touch more than this. But I'm sure once I've been using this, I will enjoy this a great amount. And so I look forward to using this deck. And I hope you will enjoy it also if you have purchased it or if you're thinking of purchasing it, I hope that you will enjoy it. So that's my video for the Tower of Grand Lux. Please click the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And if you'd like to be notified of new videos, new content, please hit subscribe. And until next time, take care.